The warning police give over and over again on hot days like today. Don't leave pets inside your car. But some are not getting the message, and that mistake nearly killed a dog in Canton. His body temperature soaring when he was rescued from that car parked at a hospital. Only on News 5, Bob Jones tells us how the dog's doing and what is next for his owner. This is a two-year-old dog named Taker, an American Staffordshire. The dog warden considers it a miracle. Taker is walking around, surviving a severe case of heat stroke one week ago today. When he arrived uh, here, the dog was un uh, unconscious. Um, medically, uh, its internal core temperature was about 110 degrees. Stark County Dog Warden John Barber says Taker's owner, Latia Williams, parked in a visitor's lot and went into Altman Hospital to visit someone, leaving the dog alone in the car with just a window cracked for an hour and a half. The outside temperature, 87 degrees, much hotter inside the car. It's clearly over 100, probably closer to 120, 130, uh, I would say at least. A visitor spotted the dog in distress and notified hospital security. Barber says the car door was unlocked and Taker was pulled out of the vehicle. He was then taken by a Canton police officer, lights and siren, to the Stark County Dog Warden's office. This photo shows the dog's condition there. He remained unconscious for a day and a half, finally coming around with a vet providing fluids and cold compresses. Barber Barber explained this breed of dog already has diminished breathing and will be monitored closely for possible health problems related to heat stroke. The heat affects these dogs quicker than it would other dogs with a regular face and a regular nose. Williams, who declined to comment to News 5, is charged with felony animal cruelty. It'll be up to a judge to decide if she can take back Taker. Meantime, Barber remains frustrated and angry by cases like this one. I don't know. I can't explain why someone would do that. Once again, urging people to not leave pets in cars with more steamy days ahead. People, if you're not able to take your dog in, in with you, then you need to leave it at home in the air conditioning where it's comfortable anyways. In Canton, Bob Jones, News 5.